Hello my creative friends. Today I'm going to show you how I made the little heart wings on my birdies. The first thing I did was to take the Stampin' Up! heart punch and I slid it into my paper, punched it out. Then I took our bird punch and if you haven't seen the punches before, to open them up you just push them in and they spring open and then to close them you just press them closed and slide that down. So slide down to close it and then open it. The next thing I did was to slide the paper in and just arrange it so that that heart would be where I thought the wing should be. And when you have it where you think you like it, just punch it out. And with this punch, it also punches out um, a little stem with leaves and the regular wing, which we're not going to use on this particular bird, but if you wanted to, you could. So there's my little bird. For the bird on my card, I'm using the Twitter Pated Designer Series paper. And for the heart wing, I'm going to take some pink paper from that pack and I'm just going to punch that out and then layer the two birds together like that. You could put dimensionals on this and pop it up over that layer. Let me get a darker color so it's easier to see. Up. You could use dimensionals and just pop this up on your card and have whatever the background color on your card is be the wing part. Or you can do what I did and that was just to layer these two together with some, oh I think I just used snail or two-way glue and then I put a dimension on the back of the bird and popped her up right there. I also used a basic rhinestone for her little eye. Now if you want your birds to face each other like these birds are, here's what you do. This is the side we used before. I'm just going to flip it over and do the same thing on the opposite side. So punch out your heart. Slide your little birdie in. Punch it out. And now you have a bird going the opposite direction. So now you have a bird going the opposite direction. If you want to have the same layer all you would do is flip that pink paper upside down and use the other side of your DSP. I don't know if I have enough. And you don't need the full bird. You just need it big enough to cover that heart. So I'm just going to take this scrap and get all of the tail, but it doesn't matter because it's hidden. And there you go. Simple easy. You could also use your black Stampin' Right marker to do a little eye, but I do kind of like the shimmer of the diamond. So I hope that you learned something with this quick little tip, and I hope you get some time today to make something creative. Bye!